Let's talk about Kim Davis. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Dumb Guys Talk About Smart Stuff. So, um, so I saw a video today with Kim Davis mm -hmm. where there was, um, there was a, gun, a bunch of people and there's some guys in there, gay, gay guys in there wanting to get their, their marriage license. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, no, I'm not going to give it to you. You're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what right do you have or on whose authority do you have not to give me a marriage license? And she said, God's authority. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think somebody with that kind of mentality should hold a government job? No, and I think people like this, um, and just to give you some background, like I did grow up very religious and I still am, um, but I, I think these people are missing the point of the whole thing when they're projecting it on everyone else. Like if you are a Christian and you have your rules, you cannot expect the whole world to have these rules as well. Yeah. And if you have a public service position, um, you're going to run against people who disagree with you. And it's and you are by having a public service position, and she's elected service position, which we're, we're googling this. And as far as our research is telling us, she was an elected position. Um, it means you comply with the majority of people saying you should be the clerk. Well, she so needs to. She needs to first and foremost followed by the Constitution, right? And the mm -hmm. Constitution states that there's a separation between church and state. Yeah. And she is not upholding the Constitution. Yeah, that. Plus, she's kind of going against the whole thing. Like, now the law and the majority is saying this should be legal. Right. Because you decide to disagree with it, you're not going to enforce it. Yeah. When the majority, how you got that position was an election. <clears throat> I actually saw, it was like a little saying or something. I probably mm -hmm. saw it on Facebook or something. But it said, um, it said, uh, if your religion is teaching you to hate, you're doing it wrong. You are doing it wrong. And, and that's, that's the whole point. Exactly. And if you go into the New Testament, there are so many rants against these religious groups at the time called Pharisees and Sadducees. And they would bring up these kind of tricky things to Jesus, and he used to just go off on them. Um, and it was things like this. It was things like they that was causing division amongst them, and he would just say, you guys are just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, don't you um, are totally missing the point. And he would answer like, they would try to trick him. I think the one thing, the question they brought to him was like, after you die, is there a resurrection or do you stay dead? And he just, and he, I, that's not exactly how it was. But um, but he just kind of said, you guys are just totally missing the point. Another thing was they tried to trick him into like, if people are married here, are they married after they die? And he's like, you guys are missing the point, is, was his answer. Right. Um, so, um, so I think that this person is falling into a trap of getting too wrapped up into in a small group of people and then trying to project it on the whole world. Yeah. Um, and um, the way she looks, like her haircut, the what she wears, I've seen this a lot in these groups, is that they're kind of, I think they're probably really into um, modesty. Um, and so they have this kind of almost like trying to make themselves look ugly type of thing going on. And um, I've seen this a lot in the past, and uh, I think what happens in these small groups is that they start listening to each other too much, start only socializing with these people in a small group. Some, t a few teachers rise to prominence in this, and then they start this whole, like, um, we're right, the rest of the world's wrong, anytime somebody argues with us we're being persecuted, that type of mentality. And so I think it's almost like this attention she's getting, it's almost like feeding the beast. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, it, for one thing, all this attention, all this persecution she's getting is making her a martyr. Mm -hmm. And, but then at the same time, it, it's, it's hurting her. It's making her Christianity look ridiculous. I yeah. Think. Well, and that's exactly it. It looks ridiculous. So it's she's making... standing behind a desk where she is being paid to do a job, she was elected to do a mm -hmm. job, and that job requires her to follow the law, and she's saying, I won't follow the law because my religion tells me not to. Yeah, and I think it's, like, by her staying in the position, I think it's just this attention grab. I mean, there might be money. Like, I'm looking at this, it looks like she made some decent money last year. Mm -hmm. um, but why doesn't she just resign quietly? Right quietly resign from this and not right. make it a public spectacle. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It, her problem shouldn't be with those individuals that are coming in there to obtain their, their marriage license because mm -hmm. the law now says it. If she has a problem with the law, she should take that to the Supreme Court. Yeah. She should take a legal fight 
and followed by, you know, the government that has put her in this position, mm -hmm. rather than going the route of, you know, I'm going to obey my religion and not do what I'm paid yeah. to do. And that's why I think I think she's getting this attention from the, her approach. It's the messiest, most attention-grabbing way to do it. And see, if I had a problem like that, um, say maybe not this issue, but there might be issues where I had the same problem, where I'd have, I'd have a, like a moral objection to fulfilling a... And probably everyone has something like to do, but it might have a... I have a hard time with doing this type right. of thing with my job. Yeah. To me, that's just... We'll start looking for another job. Exactly. Yes, if you're uncomfortable with what you're doing, if you mm -hmm. don't like what you're doing um, because it, it goes against your beliefs, then yeah, you got to find right. another job. You're not doing the right job. To me, say if, I, if I was a telemarketer and all of a sudden I start catching on, I'm just taking advantage of old people in this job, mm -hmm. that don't, um, like, you know, stand there and make a big scene and try to get public attention. I think, you know, look, start looking for another job. Right. And, and you can educate old people on how not to be yeah, take right. You can take afterwards. you can take different steps. You can to try and get to that result you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do something like this. Yeah. So um, she was put in jail, mm -hmm. right? And she was just released from from jail. Uh, do you think she belongs behind bars? You know, I don't know much about the legality, and that was my first reaction. Is like, can't they just fire her? But um, it's I guess it's an elected position, um, and it's a government position, so it might not be that simple. Uh -huh. um, I, really, I mean, we're dumb guys. We're not the experts. It, it is elect. It is an elected position. Uh -huh. And I think, she, I, from what I heard, she was warned um, that um, her to continue to do this would be an obstruction of justice. She's not necessarily jailed for what she's doing. She's uh, jailed for continually not upholding a law. Right. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, it's similar to say, like if you're pulled over for speeding, and then you get arrested for not cooperating with the police yeah, officer. Yeah. Right. So I, um, I'm not religious mm -hmm. as, as you are however i would consider myself kind of spiritual and you yeah, know have an open you, mind haven't you said agnostic in the past i call myself agnostic uh -huh. because i and, and i don't even know if agnostic is really um the true word for what my belief is mm -hmm. because agnostic um says that we I, I believe it says that you're in we're not even capable of understanding okay. which i don't know if that's true i, uh -huh. I think you know, there could be a possibility we could understand. We just, yeah, a spiritual being stood in front of us today and explained how it is. Right, yeah, I mean, it's a there's, a, possible. there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't think that she belongs in prison. Um, you know, yeah, I think it was right of them to probably arrest her. They probably followed by the law exactly mm -hmm. how they should have. Um, but she definitely needs to be thrown out of that position. If, if she's going to let church and state, you know, mm -hmm. blend together... She's not fit for a government position. And to me, like this article I'm reading, it sounds sounds like she's in the position due to nepotism. Um, yeah. Her mother had the right. position before her. She's hired her 21 year old son, um, and she got elected. So, um, so this kind of brings an interesting thing to me is like how.